people in this country told our uh, well, we wouldn't be able to do it. They were talking in terms of two or three decades, while I was talking in terms of a few years. tribute to the founding father of PNG, late Grand Chief Sir Michael Thomas Somare. Sir Michael Somare is the son of Ludwig Somare, Sana and Kambe Somare. Ludwig Somare was a policeman rising to the rank of sergeant. Ludwig Somare Sana had four wives and six children of whom Somare is the eldest. Born in Rabaul where his father was then stationed, Somare grew up in his family village of Karao in the Murik Lakes of East Sepik province. Somare's earliest education was in a Japanese-run primary school at Karao during World War II where he learned to read, write and count in Japanese. From 1946, Somare attended Boram Primary School, then Dragaven Education Center and Sogeri High School, graduating with a living certificate issued on behalf of the Australian state of Victoria in 1957. This was a teaching qualification at that time and he then taught at several primary and secondary schools. Somare married his wife Veronica, Lady Veronica, generally referred to as Lady Veronica Somare, in 1965, having courted her in the traditional fashion and then immediately left to take up his scholarship at Administrative College in Port Mosby. They had five children, Bertha, Sana, Arthur, Michael Jr. and Delciana. As a teacher and radio announcer, Somare joined other educated Papua New Guinean nationalists and helped in the formation of Pangu Party in 1967 and vied for self-government and independence. Self-government was granted in 1973 and Sir Michael Somare was appointed the chief minister to prepare for independence. In September 16, 1975, PNG gained independence and Sir Michael Somare became the first Prime Minister. Michael Somare is the only longest serving Prime Minister. He served four terms as Prime Minister from 1975 to 1980, from 1982 to 1985 and from 2002 to 2010, a total of 17 years. During his political life, he has never lost his seat until he officially retired from active politics in 2017. I gave my best years in this country. I hope you will each find the grace in con to continue our dream of our great nation, Papua New Guinea. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Still held in high esteem. 
Papua Blue Country, Papua New Guinea. Sadly, late Grand Chief Somare passed away at the Port Mosby International Hospital from pancreatic cancer at around 10 past 12 a.m. on the 26th of February 2021. The nation came to a standstill after learning of the passing of the founding father. Thousands of people in the country flooded the social media with their sympathies and condolences. Others set up outcries in their areas around the country simply to spend time together and pay respect to the Papa Belong Country, Papa Belong PNG, Sir Michael Thomas Sumare. According to the former governor of Morobe, Luther Wenge, Somare was a champion of democracy in the face of the world. He was someone who believed in unity and demonstrated it in keeping PNG united. Luther Wenger said Somare was a living testimony of democracy the world over admires and look up to. Somare leaves behind a legacy that will be reflected and remembered by thousands of Papua New Guineans today and into the future. We all salute you, Grand Chief Sir Michael Thomas Somare. You have walked a thousand miles and surely touched a thousand lives. We will remember you. Grand Chief Sir Michael Somare was escorted into the parade ground and was given the general the parade. parade. Unlike reviewing officers of normal parades, the Grand Chief Sir Michael was driven through the parade as a sign of inspection. In his address, Police Commissioner Gary Barkey thanked Sir Michael for his contribution in obtaining independence for Papua New Guinea. Barkey said the parade was hosted to recognize and acknowledge Sir Michael's contribution in leading Papua New Guinea since independence. You are a very special man in our life and history, and we feel that at least this is the least we can do. You have set standards. As a leader, you have sold both on personal and professional level. Integrity, you're a man of integrity. Humility, you are, your feet were still uh, firm, planted on ground, despite half of your century in politics and politics.